Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cow. It's the ambush. It's the time of ambush. After oranges come video game trailers and notes associated with them. So let's just let's just get going. All right. It starts with Junior here. Junior six thirty seven. Sir Cow, Order of the Fraternal Knights of Reprorious Laughter. Did you ever want a game where your eyes are the controller? No? Well, too bad. You get one anyway. Hope you enjoy this emotional roller coaster, Buggle Up Junior, where your eyes are the controller. I mean, I know there's like eye like detecting software and whatnot. Is that one of those? Embark on an emotional first-person narrative adventure where you control the story and affect its outcome with your real-life blinks. With this innovative technique, you will fully immerse yourself in a world of memories, both joyous and heartbreaking, as your whole life flashes before your eyes. Well, how does that work? Do you need, like, a camera? How does that work? Well, we'll be watching the trailer soon, but... What does that even mean? I mean, thank you. I I don't think I've ever heard of this. I don't know what is going on, but it won the BAFTA, so that's pretty good. Then Fusion Warriors back. This time's all like, oh, cow, beware of crows. And then tells me to enjoy. It's a little game called Gravity Cat. Gravity Cat. Gravity Cat. It's a puzzle platformer. You play as a cat who has an ability to change your gravity. How straightforward in a really weird way okay i just talk about like a trailer it just goes right to the point yeah it's a puzzle platformer that's a mechanic go at it it's like all right i i mean I'll, I'll do it i mean i i feel like i don't have much of a choice here I'll, I'll do it though it's okay don't threaten me and everyone is happy and also today so that's Valglas. I can tell from your avatar and the fact that it's written down there. But, okay, so I'm not going to explain any of the context for this text, which is honestly pretty amusing. Tarragon, how can we really kill a city? Answer, heavy exploration and heavier ordnance. And these deliver. And gotta go, giant anglerfish department needs a new sled. Uh, yeah, good old D1N, 63R, 61584R. So Axum Verge, I am well aware of that game series. It is something I've been wanting to play for a long time. Now I own them as soon as I click on the accept gift button, which I will. So thank you. Yeah, that's the same Volgloss as the Volglossary. Uh, and yeah, I'm not going to explain any of that text box. I... I thought it was really funny. A grand total of five people will get it. And that's just the way it goes. So Gravity Cat. I saw something for a Gravity Cat. But I don't know if it was the same one. So let's go check out Steam. Oh, that's that phase Gravity Cat. I don't trust it. Oh yeah, see that? That is not... That is not the trailer I found on YouTube. As I suspected. Because it was different fur pattern on a cat. Check it out, he does a little flip. It's kinda like a V, 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 except you're a little kitty cat and there's a saw. There's no saws in Higgs of V. Two game modes! One of them is cat, no, you're involved to change gravity only after dodging the surface. Oh, and the other one, it's all day, every day? I guess. We'll learn about it soon enough. Okay, but it's the same levels? I mean, I could see that being an easier mode. But you could also make levels explicitly for that world. Well, that is a lot of levels. More than a hundred? I mean, that that is a ton. Alright, we'll live with it, I guess. I'm digging the soft music. I'm gonna assume it's... Um, License-free? Royalty-free, rather. One of those. Man, you sure are showing... Like, there's a hundred level. We're gonna show you footage from like three of them that's kind of a weird decision but i kind of get it oh no the logo is being attacked by a laser what are you gonna do about it gravity cat nothing that's what it looks like to me all right hey that's gravity cat it's got a cat and it's got gravity what are you gonna do with that knowledge huh put it in your ears that's not where you should store your gravity all right before your eyes 
Uh, sure. Launch trailer. Sounds great. Your life. Good, honey. You're gonna show oh, it to me. Oh, jeez. I want to see exactly what made you so absolutely great. Man, that narrator seems aggressive to me. I don't know what it is about it, if but... If you understand what I'm saying... I don't. Blink over my hand here. I Just blinked in real life by accident. The very beginning. The first thing that you can remember. Every time you blink, you're going to jump forward in time. Could oh. Could be a second. Ooh, that's good. Could be five years. But that's enough for me. <laughs> we have to make him do this every birthday. That's a great idea. I don't know what I'd do without old Benny. Man, that is a cruel fate to just skip ahead every time you blink. No matter how much you like it, you're not going to be able to stay, all right? With your mother gone, I'm hoping to finally live without all the clutter. <laughs> it's over. What's going on with Benjamin Prince? You're ashamed I don't know. of something. Something so terrible, you're trying to blink right past it. Close your eyes, Ben. So I'm going to ask you again. <laughs> Well, no matter how painful it gets. Ooh, that's red. I'm gonna send you there. To start from the very beginning. Hey, this does seem I pretty interesting. To remember. And just try to enjoy it this time. Like, it's kinda hard to sort of gauge what a game is about, but there's something really interesting here. I kinda dig it. It's a pretty recent game. Yeah, I don't think I ever heard about it, but there's something that seems pretty interesting. Uh, it's called the saddest game ever made, according to that thumbnail. So, awesome. That's something that we can keep in our mind. Look at that cat, though. It's so scruffy. That is a scruffy cat. Uh, like scruffy cat is quality cat. All right, Axe and Verge. So, I got one and two. Let's just watch the first one for fun. Um, that's the official one. It's a bit longer, but hey, it's the official one. So, okay. So first step, you awaken. Got it. Then you're jumping in a Metroid level. Yeah, so Axum Verge was like, in a time when there was kind of a dearth of Metroid-style games, then arrived Axum Verge. And the world was never the same again. I say in an overly dramatic way. That, that looks really rad though. Like, that looks genuinely pretty cool. I mean, it looks exactly like what it is, really. Like, it's very straightforward about it. No, honestly, Metroid 1, I don't think is a very good game at all. Uh, maybe that seems pretty rude, but it is my thought. But like a more modern take on it would probably be pretty all right. Oh, I like the graphic of that egg egg machine. Oh, that's such a cool boss looking thing. Okay, yeah, there is some, like the sprite art looks really interesting. I mean, yeah, like I said, this is a game I've been wanting to play for a while. It is already on my bucket list and now it's on my Steam list. It certainly makes things simple for me. Look at that dancing little alien, and then it blew up. Wait, you're gonna show the same boss twice in a trailer? I guess you showed it floating around, then you showed it dying. That's kind of mean. Alright, Tom Hap made a video game. It's called Axum Verge. It looks Geiger uh, influenced a little bit. I don't know what about this is telling me. Is it Geiger or that other guy? Maybe I'm thinking of that other guy whose name I'm not recalling. You know the one. That's a website. You can go on it and press a button. Do websites have buttons anymore? Axum Verge 2015 was on Twitch once. That's how you know it's a video game.